Welcome to Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. This is our Season 3 premiere of the Diamond Commander League. Our league focuses on high-powered gameplay. It's not a perfect science, but we like to think we're playing at the highest levels of casual EDH. We enjoy CDH, but to make sure that this doesn't bleed into that territory, we do have one banned card in our league, and that's Thassa's Oracle. Everything else is free game. We've changed up our point structure for the players by switching up all the achievements to deck building achievements. Each month is focused around a different set and a deck restriction. The players are not required to follow all the restrictions, but are encouraged to. For episodes 1, 2, and 3 this season, the achievements are play a commander from a Strixhaven plane, have at least 10 Strixhaven cards in your deck, and don't have any instant or sorcery tutors in your deck. We like to think these restrictions add to the creativity and allow us to use cards we wouldn't otherwise. We hope to have more in-person gameplay next season, but for now, let me introduce you to our crew. awesome group and we're happy to let you take part and, and share in the fun. If you'd like us to keep creating videos like this, smash the like button. It lets us know you really thought it was a good video. And think about joining the kingdom. Come over on Patreon. It's $2 for our Ronin tier. You get to join our Discord. You can play with our crew. It's really fun and I don't think you'll regret it. With that, let's go over our commanders and our starting hands for game one. First we have John S playing Adrix and Nev Twin Casters. What is better than doubling season? Doubling season in the command zone. This deck is all about tokens, but not just any tokens, big boy tokens. John wants to get out Adrix and Nev, make a couple sweet tokens, and then copy them again and again. Exponential growth for you, and you, and you! His starting hand includes Chromatic Lantern, Tempt with Reflections, Command Tower, Flooded Grove, Orin Reef the Vastwood, Reflecting Pool, and a Forest. Second, we have John M playing Zimon Quandrix Prodigy. In this deck, Zimon wants to get up to 8 lands as quick as possible. This allows you to either draw good amounts of cards or play some of the big Simic creatures in the deck. She has always looked up to the Triton hero, but she is just getting started. His starting hand includes Negate, Joel Riel, Empress of Beasts, Overwhelming Stampede, Plain Wide Celebration, Hinterland Harbor, Tropical Island, and a Forest. Third, we have Jason playing Galazeth Prismari. Galazeth wants what we all do in our lives, magic and treasure. This deck wants to get all the treasure it can and then use it over and over for some huge instant and sorcery spells. You know you're slinging spells when Magma Opus isn't even your Magnum Opus. His starting hand includes Opt, Swiftfoot Boots, Force of Negation, Spell Swindle, Misty Rainforest, an Island, and a Mountain. Fourth, we have Carlos playing Brokos, Apex of Forever. Have you ever wondered what would happen if Edric got eaten by a Swamp Monster? Well, wonder no more. This deck takes the Edric Spymaster of Tress strategy and adds a big booty onto the typical little guys. Someday, I'm going to connect with a Brokos mutated Cephalid Constable, and it's going to be glorious. My starting hand includes Elves of Deep Shadow, Looter Ilkor, Slith Bloodletter, Thief of Sanity, Orin Frostfang, Drowned Catacomb, and Yabamaya Coast. With that, here's game one. Start by drawing a card. Orin Reef the Vast Wood tapped and pass the turn. Draw for turn. Tropical Island, pass. Draw, Island, ha <laughs> ha pass the turn. Draw for turn. Yavamaya Coast, take one and play an Elves of the Deep Shadow and nice. pass the turn. Draw, Command Tower, pass the turn. Draw, Interland Harbor. I will cast 
Simone. For your turn, I'm gonna cast Opt. Bry that little guy at the bottom. Bruh. I'll play a mountain. And is it Signet? Pass the turn to Carlos. Draft for turn. Two damage. Cast the Looter Ill Core. Drowned Catacombs tapped. Pass the turn. Draw. Flooded Grove. Chromatic Lantern. I'll pass. Draw. Forest return. Let's use Zimone's ability to play a land. Oh, tapped. My bad. Pass. Draw. Island. Pass my commander. Enters the battlefield. I will get a treasure. And I'll pass the turn. Untap. Draw a card. Play Undergrowth Stadium. Thank you for being my opponents. Jason for one shadow. I'll take it. Draw a card, discard a card. Slith Blood Litter. As regenerate and all the Sliths when they deal combat damage, they yeah. get a plus one counter on them. Done after that. Draw, Flecting Pool, Felwar Stone. Cast my commander. I'll pass the turn. I'll draw for turn. <laughs> Teleria West, Guardian Project. I am done. Draw, Swift of Boots, Misty Rainforest. Bracket, ain't no line. Island, quip set boots. Combat, swing at John. Three in the air. Command <laughs> Taking three. Done after that. End of turn. Flashing in a sea dasher octopus onto oh, no. the slith blood litter. And then I'll draw for turn. Play a forest. One damage from the elf. Orin Frostfang. I will go to attack step. Ilcor at John S. Octopus at Jason. Two damage. Taken two. These two will trigger, and that will trigger for each of them, and that will trigger. So one counter, stack it so that I'll draw one there, and then two there, and then this one, and then four, and then I have to discard one of these. I'll be an island. We're in danger. Pass the turn. Draw. Temple of the False God. Oh. Uh, instant speed token creation? What? Draw for yeah. turn. Jewel reel. I will draw a card off of Guardian Project. Pass. Draw. Go to combat. Carlos attacking you for three command damage in the air. Okay. Pass the turn. Draw a card. I'll play an island. Attacking with these. And I will send the shadow at John S. I'll send these two at Jason and this one at John S. Before damage, I will trigger these three. Trigger it so that I'll get a counter. I'll draw five cards and discard a card. Second main, Demir Signet. Time warp. What a monster. Summer spell swindle. Nice. <laughs> Time warp. It's more than gives that. Gives me five lands. Pass the turn. Dean, your turn. Cycle a shark typhoon with X equals six. So I'll get a pair of six, six sharks and draw a card. It's a shark made With flying? Yeah, they fly. And I'll untap and draw for turn. Play a land. I'll cast oh, Clone targeting Carlos. Two token copies of every creature Carlos owns. Cast Force of Negation. Yeah, I'm totally exiling that, John. I'm sorry. How many times do you get to put Clone Legion on the stat? I mean, honestly, That's Jason takes six. So you're going to attack Carlos with the other one? Is that it? No, I'm attacking you for six. I'm leaving the other one back to block. Way to be a team player, John. I'll pass the turn. Counters my Clone Legion. <laughs> Draw for turn. Pass. Draw. Land for turn. And I'm going to cast Brass's Bounty. Six treasures. Pass. Draw for turn. I'm going to send one damage at you, John M. I'll take one. Frostfang at Jason for two. And I'm going to send the Octopi at John S. No blocks. Okay. Comet damage is dealt. I will trigger all these. Discard one last. Another five cards. Discard a swamp. Alchemist Refuge. I'm also going to be delving five. Temporal Trespass. I'll negate that one. Delay your negate. Packed it. Okay. Discard for end of turn. Elvish Mystic. Edric. Draw, Myriad Landscape. Jason and Carlos take six each. Pass the turn. Draw for turn. I will use Zimone's ability because I can't wait anymore to draw a card. Cast Wayfarer's Bobble and then pass. Upkeep, pay for pack. Draw, I'm gonna Faithless Looting. Discard two lands. I'm gonna flash, flash back Faith is looting. Discard a Crucible of Worlds and a Bloodstained Mire. Play a Loyal Apprentice. At the beginning of combat, if I control my commander, I get a 1-1 one -one thopter with flying and haste. Go to combat, pass the turn. Untap. You guys have just been picking on my spells. I mean, come on. <laughs> Draw for turn. The guy just get turns or... Um, yeah, you've drawn more cards than all of us put together, I think, actually. I mean, it's Brokos 8 Edric. That's what it's supposed to be, you know? Pretty good. I'm gonna tackle these two, both at John S. Oh, all right. You're six. 
and I will draw four and discard one. I'm gonna discard Crozen Warchief, a shock and a watery grave. Going to my end step, I'll discard Tombbound Lich. Uh, walk the Aeons. And I'm done. Raw. Blighted Woodland coming in at Carlos for 12 in the air. I'll take it. Pay six, sack both of these, and go get four lands and pass. Draw for turn. Sack the bobble. Sack the bobble. Land. Carlos, stop attacking me. Are you kidding me? <laughs> shark, shark bites for 12. Crucible of Worlds. And I will pass. Raw. Attack and probe. Carlos, close your eyes. Don't cheat, Johns. There's so many foils. Uh-huh. Yep. That one. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I guess I get to draw a card off a gift probe. Carlos is playing with us. I'm not playing with you? What are you okay. talking about? All is dust? It says Carlos has to cast Mana Drain on it, or he sacrifices all of his cards. Whoa. Cards. I'll Mana Drain it. Combat. I'll get a Chump Blocker. Pass the turn. End of turn, I'll attempt to cast Nexus of Fate. Sure. All right. What if I've worked? Draw for turn. Then I get seven colorless mana. Brokos will mutate onto the Octopi Bloodletter. 10 10 trample for Thief of Sanity for Heaven Go Lich. Tax step. So I'll send Brokos at John M. Okay, four damage total, he said. Yeah. I will block the five and then take five. Brokos will trigger, he'll get a counter. I'll draw six and discard one. Discard this island. I'll play a forest for turn, second main. Pass to myself. Actually, I might have to discard. Yep, I have one too many cards. I'm discarding a Rumi of the Dead Tide. Okay, draw for turn. Play Hinterland Harbor. And then I will cast Overwhelming Stampede. Yay! That's a good card. Assuming that it resolves, all my creatures will get plus own. 11, plus 11, and trample. I think we're dead. I think so. Uh, yeah, I think we are. Uh, Especially since you can one-shot John with commander damage. Yep. I'll be honest, Edric Spymaster of Trest is one of my favorite decks I've ever played. However, I did have that deck for a long time, and I really wanted to switch it up. Plus, that alternate art on Brokos is maybe my favorite art in the last 10 years. I love it so much. For game two, John M's starting hand includes Sakura Tribe Scout, Elemental Bond, Seedborn Muse, Tanazir Quandrix, an Island of Forest, and an Apex Altazar Mulligan to the bottom. Carlos's starting hand includes Mind Blade Render, Frozen Warchief, Thief of Sanity, Temporal Manipulation, Underground River, Watery Grave, and a Swamp. John's starting hand includes Geometric Nexus, Mycolith, Spawning Kraken, Spitting Image, Dryad Arbor, Bondrix Campus, and Simic Growth Chamber. Jason's starting hand includes Dockside Extortionist, Force of Negation, Prom Ludovic's Opus, Brass's Bounty, an Island, and Two Mountains. All right, here's game two. Draw. Forest. Secure a Tribe Scout. Pass. Draw for turn. Mm. Uno Watery Grave. Tapped and pass. Draw for turn. Myriad Landscape. And I'll pass. Ooh. Draw. Island. Go. Draw. Island. Got the Scout for a Forest. Elemental Bond. Pass. Draw. Forest. Mind Blade Render. I'll pass. Draw. Quandrix Campus. Cast a Soul Ring. Geometric Nexus. Whenever any player casts an instant or sorcery, I put a number of charge counters on it equal to that spell's mana value. And then I can pay six and tap it, remove all the counters and make a, an XX where X is the number of charge counters on it. Go ahead, yeah. Draw a mountain, Dockside Extortionist. Treasure, I'll pass the turn. Draw, Rat. Needle Floor and Drake. One, one flying death touch. I'll poke John. Wait, which John? It's easy for you guys, but not, it's hard for us, okay? And then pass. Draw. I think the only way I get through is John S, so one. And then I lose a life and draw a card because a warrior did some damage. Swamp for land for turn. Talisman of Dominance. Land where else? I'll pass after that. Draw. Crack Myriad Landscape. Island. Their island. Simic Growth Chamber. And return one of those islands back to my hand. Pass the turn. Draw. Let's go mountain. Pass my Maybe. commander. And I get a treasure. I'll pass the turn. Draw play Seagate as my land. So Seagate Reborn. I will cast Zimone. Pass the turn. Draw a card. Play an underground river. Sorry, John S. One more damage. And I'll take one as Ouch. well. Draw a card. Frozen Warchief this time. Actually cast it. Thief of Sanity. Pass the turn after that. 
Craw, Triad Arbor, try and cast a Spawning Kraken. Whenever a Kraken, Leviathan, Octopus, or Serpent I control deals combat <laughs> damage to a player, I make a 9-9 nine, nine Kraken. I'll pass the turn. Raw Island for turn. Brass is bounty. That'll get me four treasures. That'll get me Normally six counters. It, seven. It's a seven mana spell. I'll draw for turn. I will play Teleria West and then pass. Draw for turn. Rokos will mutate for four. Two green. I do become Thief of Sanity. Flying dude. I'm gonna shock in Overgrown Tomb. Attack with Rokos. I doubt he's as mana flooded as last time. Yeah, Jason, I'll attack you for six trample flying. I'm pointing with my eyes. Yeah, yeah, it's three. But you get a look. We don't get to see him. I'm going to take the right the other most two. card. Island, island. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll pass. Draw. Cast my commander. Jason, will you let me get a token? <laughs> I have to take six? No way! I can't just let you get a token. Two oh, nine. Will to make it. John, will you let me get a token? Two tokens. It's not a token. I'll let it through. John, I'll take six. Take six. Two nine nines. Uh, Island full flowering with X equals one. What does that mean? Swan song. It like, gets no. super. What the heck? Heck is busted. You done, John. Yeah. Horrible, John. I can't even swank song you safely. Draw. Let's uh, play a bloodstained mire. Crack that. The mountain. Prismari command. Two damage to your twin casters, and I'm paying the extra two. I'm also going to target myself and create a treasure token. And I'll cast bomb. Ever an opponent cast second spell you draw card? Yeah. Passing the turn. End step, I'll pay the four and use Zimone's ability to draw a card. It is a land, so I'll use my scout's ability as well to put it into play. c c c combo Draw for turn. Seedborn Muse. <laughs> oh -ho. I will pass. End of turn, I'm going to cast the spell that Jason has for one blue and opt. I'll put this on the bottom, draw a card, untap, draw for turn, play a Woodland Cemetery. John S, I'll attack you with the 6-6 six, six commander. I'll take 6. Look at the top three of your deck. Holy crap. I'm taking the far right card. The other two go to your graveyard. Oh. Walk the Aeons is my first spell for the turn. My only response is that I'll draw a card. Uh, my second spell of the turn is a Birds of Paradise. Untap for my next turn. Draw for turn. My first spell, Temporal Manipulation. I'm going to draw a card in response. Attacking Brokos at John S for six flying. Let me look at the top three. Wow, what the freak? Okay, yeah, I'll take that one. I feel like I'm in danger. I've been in danger, in danger the whole danger. dang time. Eternal Witness. On uh, cast, draw a card. Yeah, I'm going to reject that. Countered unless you pay three. If it is countered, it's exiled. Nice. Oh, nice. That matters. Next turn, draw a card. I'm gonna cast a Rumi of the Dead Tide. First of the two spells, John, that you have there. Oh, jeez. Casting Crater of Behemoth. And why? guess why? Because he's a beast and he costs one less. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna draw a card. Yep, you do. In response, I will also draw a card. He's stupid. Only Brokos <laughs> is going at John S, and the other four creatures are going at John M. Crater Hoof Behemoth plus these three. I'm not gonna make an official Crater Hoof token because he might not live very long. They all get plus seven, plus seven. There's an eight, 10 trample, nine, nine trample. Crater Hoof is a 12, 12 trample. Brokos is a 13, 13. Block with four damage, you'll take 21 I commander. I will do that and die. I will block the uh, Crozen Beast guy. You'll take, so 26 damage, and the Crater <laughs> Hoof is gone. Sad Crater Hoof. Lose a life and draw a card. Pass the turn. Um, raw. Island for turn, and I'll cast the Storm Kiln Artist. He gets plus one power for each artifact I control. Whenever I cast or copy an instant or sorcery, I get a treasure token. And I'll go to my instep, John. <laughs> Thanks. Woo, yeah. We'll pass the turn, though. We'll draw for turn. Cast Consecrated Sphinx. I'm gonna force it. Alrighty. Paying for it? Yeah, paying five. What? And then I'll <laughs> get a treasure. I will pass. I'll draw for turn. Go to my attack step. If you will not block this Mind Blade render, I will just attack you with it instead. I'll take that. Just throwing that guy at you. He's a 1-3. And then I will lose a life and draw a card. And second main, cast a Cephalid Constable. Cast Talisman of Curiosity. 
Draw off Talisman. I'll also draw a card. I'm going to cast uh, Hollow Spectre. I'll attempt the birds for a Elvish Mystic. And I'll be done. Yep. Okay, end step. I'll throw this Thriving Grove into play. I'll choose blue. Raw. Got to do. Eight. We'll cast a Minotaur's Augury. Wow. Magecraft trigger. Got a ramp. I'm going to draw a card. I'll cast Epiphany at the Drown Yard. So which one do you want to have go in my hand, and which one do you want in my graveyard? Garrick to your yard, and you may have a forest. So exile the top eight until end of turn. For each card type, I may cast a card. Oh, I can put a land first. Curse of Opulence, I'm going to put on Carlos, and then I will play Boots, Crucible, Bay in Exile, and I'll have a Flusterstorm here chilling out in case I need it. And I was, I'm going to cast Melmonic Deluge, targeting Aminatel's Augury. I'm going to exile it, copy it three times, so Mnemonic Deluge will exile that. I get to create three copies. I'm going to cast those copies. You get one treasure for each spell. Uh, Mnemonic Deluge is exiled. Doesn't mean it has augury, but I'm going to leave that over here because it's going to resolve three times. I'm going to cast the first one. Seven, eight. Go into the <laughs> second copied augury. Eight, five, six, seven. Oh, there's a land in this pile. And there's a land in this pile. If you want to go ahead and go to your combat and kill John, I will then scoop afterwards. Perfect. I have no cards in hand. With your expropriate, you get yeah. an extra turn or my Brokos. And, yeah, yeah. and that's sort of all that matters, really. And I'll get at least one turn. Next is a Fate turn. I'll take Brokos. I would get a bunch of mana. Ignite the Future would let me keep going. And I'll attack John for seven in the air. You dead, John? I am dead, man. Perfect. And then I'll that's cast Expropriate. I'll cast Nexus in Fate. With those on the stack, I will uh, scoop. Nope, I will Force of Negation your scooping. And then my, my scooping is uh, <laughs> split second. My goodness. I cast Mnemonic Deluge <laughs> once. For the first time, guys. Thank you. I've lost to many Aminato's Augury in my day, so when Jason got to cast it four times, game over. As I said before, if you enjoy this type of gameplay and really want to support us, check out our $2 Ronin tier on Patreon. As always, thanks so much for watching, and keep it nerdy.